Speaking of bits, it's unliking. Okay. Is, yeah, bits. You guys want to hear, talk about some bits? Speaking of bits, let's, bits let's hear bats. about let's hear about Tim's bits. <laughs> mm. Look at this. I'm thinking about these are some confirmed day. speeds of Starlink network as it is today. <sighs> so these are oh, screenshots. Okay. Someone shared uh, screenshots using the SpaceX Starlink. You know, actual things, ping the sp- time speed ping? test, ping times, and everything. And the ping times range from down to only thirty uh, milliseconds, which is very good that's yeah. that would be comparable with any thing basically normally i mean phones you know low latency with lte and stuff like that and, and a pretty decent broadband you know any any network you're using is going to be probably you know below 100 and the longest ping time that we're seeing is 94 so that's plenty fast to do you know online gaming and stuff and that's obviously a big concern when you're talking about satellite internet constellations is that ping time the latency can be that you know that that delay that lag can be a long time between you know all that stuff so that's cool but in this current state the download and upload speeds aren't incredible yet they're mm-hmm. good they're probably still better than a lot of people with their own home internet but uh we're seeing on average i think someone in this reddit comment i should probably give a shout out to um whoever where was that they actually showed oh come on Scrolling, 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 scrolling. <laughs> Keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> um, I don't Boy, know where it is, but somebody. Oh, here we go. Average together. Scrolling. Your slice. Thank you, user. Uh, your slice. Average ping was fifty milliseconds. Download is forty-five. Upload twelve. So average. Not bad, man. Yeah, averaged. When so, you average them together. Uh, and this, of course, remember when Starlink continues to roll out, we're still only at like six hundred satellites or whatever. Uh, from here on out, it'll actually just get better. Um, the the amount of bandwidth and the every every aspect of it will get better. The coverage will get better, so it can cover more latitudes. The speeds will increase as there's more throughput availability, and um, you know, eventually, ho- you know, hopefully by the time this doubles, the speeds will likely basically double too, and then it'll double again and double again. You know, we'll just keep going, and uh, a- a- as the constellation grows, so does the network. So. Um, it's a little, it's just cool to see numbers like this. I, I don't think we had really seen anything. And people are always asking like, what's, you know, what's this actually like? And that's good enough to do. If I had this when I'm trying to do locations, you know, like, uh, launching and stuff like that. Um, I'm only pushing up to YouTube at 4.5 megabits per second. And even that is, uh, yeah. not enough. Some, or even that is hard for me to get in these locations with four SIM cards. So think about, you know, when I'm like at Kennedy Space Center streaming or Boca Chica, we're using four different SIM cards, uh, four different, you know, cell phone networks combined to one to try to get one conti- like one decent video feed up into the cloud. And I'm only trying to get 4.5 up, right? So getting consistently, you know, on average 12 up would be already a huge update for me. And if it can be consistent, <laughs> reliable, that could be really big for someone like my use case, but how do we know that that's real? Yeah. I was curious how they had all the different speed tests from like, where'd this come from? You know, I don't know what the source is, but I just um, did one on mine though, for comparison and uh, I'm similar area, I guess, San Diego. My ping was 124 milliseconds. So yeah, my, my download was insane <laughs> and my upload was actually not. So my download was 833 and my upload was 14. So the upload speed there is great. The download 50 or whatever, totally fine for a house doing most things. But that ping is fantastic as it is. Yeah. I'm just a little concerned whether or not that's real because it's it's like a screenshot and it's very easy just to, it could you know, be Photoshop. I, I think that, I mean, they're starting to be used more and more. You know, like there's a lot of betas out there. I, I don't know. I, that, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Ironically, my little speed test was connected to Spacelink. Really? that is. Yeah, do you know what that is? I don't know what this is. I don't is. know what Spacelink is. Um, yeah, there's mine. You guys have seen that. That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I just, I still don't understand how your municipal uh, <laughs> internet is so much better than mine. It'll be a while before Starlink actually beats what I currently have available at 6,000 down, 77 up, and one millisecond ping. <laughs> so is ping the same as latency? Yeah. 
Okay, because yeah, mine long is showing takes... four milliseconds. Or that's great. Four. Well, it says unloaded four and loaded nineteen. I don't know what that means. Unloaded four. Hmm. And unloaded nineteen. Um, I don't. Here's, here's that space I, link I don't thing. Know things. If you guys are seeing I don't this, know, yeah. like I don't know what that means, but okay. Wow, you just put that arrow in there like it was nothing. That's amazing, Ben. Dude, <laughs> you're so much cooler than me. Snag it, yo. Wow, that's Sponsored great. Sponsored by. <laughs> um, but yeah, so cool. this was, if that's so, real, that's awesome. I, and I don't know why it wouldn't be. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yes, you can, like you said, someone could have doctored all these if they wanted to, but I don't know. Um, I don't know this. Let me let me just search the word source on here. Um, let's see. Sorry, I wasn't trying to like fact check you or something. No, I just which you should sure though. <laughs> you should well, be doing it's just, that. It's just a. I mean, you don't yeah, fact check like, your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you do. Just your parents on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I don't trust you and your judgment and your intelligence and your capacity. I'm just, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know actually where, what that source is. But if this is real, which I would have to assume it's real. That's to, I mean, because to me, this is like a little below what I was expecting even operationally. I was assuming operationally we'd be already at like 100, 100 or so. But they don't even have a tenth of the satellites up yet, right? Not even... Uh, hardly a hundredth of the total they're going yeah. they want over forty thousand. yeah <laughs> almost yeah so oh man that's spooky stuff honestly when you start thinking about forty thousand satellites it's starting to make me i'm i'm already getting like i don't know if this is a good idea Forty thousand. <laughs> so um the Space interview that i did with um dr becky smethurst who's the mm -hmm. astrophysicist she was talking about this new telescope that's going up in south africa and um, she did mention that the Starlink satellites are causing a bit of a problem with, really? with their, with their t uh, telescopes. And we were in the middle of an interview, and I kind of like, in my head, I was like, ooh, I want to know more about that. But I didn't, we, we were talking about something else, and I didn't want to like derail the entire conversation. But I, I did want to kind of follow up on that, because I've always been curious what actual professional astronomers that use these telescopes mm -hmm. think of, of Starlink, because... There's just so much noise out there and, yeah. and, you know, online about it. And that one picture from like one of the very first launches, it's like a string of satellites and that little infrared, right. you know, black and white image. It's like, that's the thing you see over and over and over and over again. Yep. Even though like I saw one with the most recent one where they have the visors on it, the little black visors are supposed to cut down on the mm -hmm. reflectivity. Even that article that was talking about how they're doing things to lower the reflectivity, the they still showed that picture that. from like a year and a half ago. Right. I'm right. like, God, come on. Right. You know, Quick but bay, but when she wins. said that, it really like you just said, Tim, it kind of made me go like, yikes, maybe I don't know. I need to get uh, her contact information for I have a friend working on like a mini documentary about like it's I think it's called the like, good goodbye night sky. Oh. And it's about this. And I'm yeah. going to be talking mm -hmm. on it a little bit as as far as like kind of talking about like the potential future of, you know, why I don't think it's the end of the game you know like i think it's mm -hmm. it's a bigger net positive than it is yes ground-based observations are a big part of the science that we do now but in 20 years will it be you know like and in a sense like are we making un unfortunately making some of our our good instrumentation down here on earth are we making it obsolete but is the potential benefit for humanity and then even you know space-based observations going to increase Mm -hmm. you know, in the future. It's kind of a, well, an unfortunate overlap that we didn't have more space-based astronomy beforehand, yeah. but... Well, the reason why I didn't put much stock in the whole, oh, we're killing ground-based astronomy because of Starlink was because they've always had to compensate for atmospheric disturbances on, on ground-based satellites, and they have sophisticated computer algorithms that can counteract, you know, mm -hmm. heat waves and other mm -hmm. stuff up in the atmosphere and like that, that's something they've always contended planes. with and how why wouldn't they be able to do it with this too you know like right it's a tiny little it's a tiny little satellite how's well, that gonna isn't it most astronomy done with radio telescopes anyways isn't like the yeah, vast majority of stuff we learn not from mix. pictures but from yeah but radio? they can still interfere with an observation you know if you're observing mm -hmm. a yeah. quasar or something that has this burst that you're aiming at for just and you only get to go by it for one second and a starling satellite goes in between like yeah, yeah that's not good you know Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com/yt 
And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.